Hi, good morning, Matthew 1, Matthew 2, and Matthew 3. How are you today? Good. Teacher Nita hope you still well, still happy, and stay at home. Don't forget about it. Okay. Today, we want to continue our topic about picture graphs. Okay. About picture graphs. But before we continue our topic today, Teacher Nita persuade all of you to let's pray. Okay. You pray in your heart. Let's pray. Okay, Amen. Okay, today we want to continue our topic about picture graphs. What is the meaning of picture graphs? Okay. What is the meaning of picture graphs? Okay. Picture. Picture. What is the meaning of picture? Good. Gambar. Graph itu adalah. Hmm, good. Graphic. So, today we want to learn. Membaca grafik gambar. Okay. Graph are used to compare the number of item between two or more things. Graph used to compare. Apa itu compare? Good. Membandingkan. Compare grab itu digunakan untuk membandingkan angka dari suatu item yang ada di antara cu dua atau lebih dari dua. Oke, okay. let's compare the butterflies and flower. Teacher Nita has to picture the first picture is butterflies and the second picture is flowers okay look at how many butterflies there below okay let's count all together let's count all together one Two, three, four, five. Good. There are five butterflies there. Ada lima kupu-kupu. Okay. Now we continue to flowers. How many flowers there below? Let's count all together. One, two, three. How many flowers? Yes, there are three flowers. Okay, because today we learn about feature graphs, Teacher Nita make it to be table to help you to read the picture graph. Cerita membuatnya dalam tabel dan kamu akan membuatnya ke dalam tabel ini jumlah tadi kupu-kupumu dan bunganya. Oke, okay, don't forget how many flowers and how many butterflies before. Oke, okay, the first four butterflies. How many butterflies? Five. So you must make it until five table. Okay. Two, three, four, five. And beside that, you make the flower. How many flower? Good. There are three. One. Two, 
three. Good. Now, there are the question. Which thing has more? Mana yang mempunyai jumlah lebih banyak? More. Yes, butterflies. Which thing the greatest? The greater because because we have two things, just two things. So you must use greater or smaller. Okay. Yes, the butterflies is the greater. Which things is the smaller? Good. Yes, flower is the smaller. Okay. For keywords, you must remember there are keywords to compare the number, the things that you want to compare. There are more. You must remember about that. Fewer, greater, smaller, greatest, smallest, as many, blank, 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 as. Greater and smaller used to compare two things. Hanya membandingkan dua benda. Greatest or smallest. Greatest and smallest. Itu dipakai untuk membandingkan more than two things. Lebih dari dua benda. Okay. For most and least. Most and least is the new keyword. Ini adalah... Kata kunci yang baru yang harus kamu ingat Most itu sama dengan greatest Ingat ya, most itu sama dengan greatest Berarti membandingkan Yes, lebih dari dua benda Least equal smallest Least itu sama dengan smallest Membanding, Sama-sama membandingkan dua benda Tapi yang dibandingkannya mana yang paling Kecil, good. Now, open your textbook page 126. Okay, reading the picture graphs. This is the picture graphs. Here, primary one hates rewards charts. Ini adalah papan untuk penilaian group A, B, C, and D. Okay, look at how many star on graph group group. E, A, how many star on group, group, group B, how many star on the group C, and how many group, how many star on the group D. Okay, look at. Hmm, ternyata, group D has the most number of star. Group D mempunyai Jumlah yang lebih banyak mendapatkan bintang. Sedangkan grup B has the list. Mendapatkan jumlah bintang paling sedikit. And the last, grup A has as many stars as grup C. Grup A mempunyai jumlah yang sama bintangnya dengan grup C. Good. Okay, now to continue or to more to make you to be more understand about picture grab, teacher Nita has example. Okay, the picture grab shows the favorite cartoon of pupil in the class. Okay, our favorite cartoon, teacher Nita believe you. Also make it to be your favorite. There is SpongeBob, there is Doraemon, there is Goofy and Ethan and Barbie. Okay, here the here the uh, the amount of the pupils who like them. Okay. Let's count. For the first curtain of SpongeBob, how many pupils? One, two, three, four, five, 
six. There are six pupils who like SpongeBob. Okay, now number two. Dora Emon. One, two, three, four, five. There are five pupils who likes Dora Emon. Now Upin dan Ipin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten pupils who likes curtain of Upin dan Ipin. Now Barbie, kita need to believe the girls of this class who likes Barbie also. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four. There are four pupils who likes Barbie. Okay, now for the question. Let's try to and then to answer. There are five questions that I give to you to you answer to make you to be more understand about picture graphs. Number one, the number of pupils who like blank 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 is the greatest. Mana yang paling banyak tadi? Ayo, coba dilihat mana yang paling banyak. Good. Upin dan Ipin. The the second, the number of pupils who like blank 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 is the smallest. Ayo diingat mana yang smallest? Good Barbie. There are blank 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 more pupils who like Upin dan Ipin dan SpongeBob. Oke, okay, for more or for fewer, kamu harus ingat jumlah yang terbanyak dikurangkan jumlah yang sedikitnya. So, kamu tahu selisihnya, more and fewer-nya. Oke, okay. so, Upin, there are 10. Sedangkan Spongebob, there are 6. So, you must subtraction. 10 minus 6 equal 4. So there are 4 more pupils like Pupin and Ipin than SpongeBob. Number 4, there are fewer Barbie and Doraemon. Oke, okay, yang kita tahu tadi Doraemon itu adalah yang terbanyak. So kita buat 5 minus 4 equal 1. So selisihnya hanya 1. Oke. Okay. Number 5 There are blam 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 pupils in the class all together. Berarti di sini adalah kamu jumlahkan semua yang menyukai Upin dan Ipin, Barbie, SpongeBob, Doraemon, make it to be addition. Good. 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 4 equal 25 pupils in the class all together. Oke, okay. teacher Nita has has words to make your picture grab to be fluent to do. Oke, okay. look at the picture grab. After that, do the words it in your notebook. Teacher Nita berharap kamu menulisnya secara rapi, tidak hanya jawabannya saja. Ditulis rapi agar teacher dapat membacanya jelas. Oke? Okay? Good. This is the picture graphs on the favorite character of Disney in class. Maaf untuk laki-laki. Teacher Nita akan membuat the other example for the next meeting. For the boys, but you also do it the question. Semuanya tidak ada tanda terkecuali mengerjakannya ya. Oke, okay, this is the question. You do the 
empty box and you answer. You read careful. Okay, until here our lesson today. Teacher Rita hope you can understand about picture graphs and Teacher Rita will give you the other example for the next meeting. Okay, until here our meeting. Teacher Rita believe you can uh, stay healthy, stay happy, and stay blessed. And don't forget to stay at home. Goodbye. God bless you.